This video sets out to explain the practicalities of measuring resistance, how to measure resistors in series and how to calculate that resistance, how to measure the resistance of resistors in parallel and again how to do that calculation. We start here with individual resistors. In the series circuit the electrons will run from negative to positive around the circuit, all around the circuit. The same current will flow all the way around. I'm connecting in place now across the resistor, a voltmeter. The voltmeter is connected around the resistor. It's connected to measure the potential difference, the voltage between one side of the resistor and the other. From measurements of the current and the voltage, we can calculate the resistance. The yellow meter is an ammeter set to read milliamps. That's thousandths of an amp. Switching on, on we can see that the reading on the ammeter is 50 four milliamps and the reading on the voltmeter is 5.34 volts. So let's quickly work out a, an accurate value of the resistance. 5.34 volts, so it's a potential difference divided by current, 5.34 divided by 54 milliamps which is 0 0.054 amps. Calculating that through First as a fraction and then as a decimal is 98.8 ohms. This was nominally a 100 ohm resistor, but that's well within the normal manufacturing tolerances. I'll quickly rearrange the circuit, putting in a second resistor. This has nominally the same value, but we'll measure it accurately. So just letting the reading settle down for a few moments. Current then is 56.5 milliamps and the potential difference, the voltage, 5.5. Again, working this through quickly, we've got 56.5 milliamps, 5.5 volts. That's 5.5, therefore, divided by 0 0.0565. Calculating that through then, 5.5 divided by 0 0.0565 to three significant figures, that's 97.3 ohms. Another quick rearrangement to put both the resistors in the circuit, one after the other, in series. So the current has to flow right through both of them. The voltmeter connected around the two to measure the potential difference across both resistors. So the new readings are 28.6 milliamps and 5.65 volts. For these two resistors in series, we can immediately see that the current is much less, so the total resistance must be much higher. The current was only 28.6 milliamps. The potential difference, 5.65 volts. The total resistance then, 5.65 divided by 28 milliamps, 28 times 10 to the minus 3, which is 0 0.0286. Calculating that through, just over 194 we have ohms, 194.4. Having two resistors in series, the current has to flow first of all through one and then through the other. So I would expect the total resistance to be the addition of the individuals, and in fact, that's the generally accepted equation. We haven't quite got that here. Uh, we have to admit that it's 98.8 times plus 97.3, 196.1. However, considering the simple press stud connections and the speed at which we've taken the results, this is well under 1% difference. The equation is valid. Another speedy rearrangement of the equipment so that the two resistors are connected in parallel with the ammeter in the main part of the circuit. So in this circuit, all of the current flows through the ammeter, but then it can go two ways. It can go through that resistor or that resistor, back through the switch to the power supply. The voltmeter is connected across both of the resistors, so from one side of the pair to the other side of the pair. So pulling the voltmeter in so we can see it, we'll switch the circuit on and take the readings as before. Letting it settle down, 97.5 milliamps and 4.78 volts. We immediately see from these results 
that with the resistors in parallel, the current is almost twice as high as it was before. So working through the results, potential difference divided by current, that's 4.78 divided by 0 0.0975. Calculate that through. And to three significant figures, that is 49 ohms exactly. That's about half of the resistance of one of the individual resistors. Now, does that seem sensible? Well, I think so. Remember the current has got two ways to go around. So twice the amount of current would flow and that would lead to half the resistance since the current is doubled. Now there's a general equation here that one over the total resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2, where R1 and R2 are the individual resistances. As you can see, substituting in the individual results for resistance that we got, we'll evaluate each of those fractions. One over 98.8 is 0 0.0101, and next 0 0.0103, adding those together, 0.204. The total resistance then is the inverse of that. We're inverting both sides of the equation. And that gives, surprisingly, exactly 49 ohms. One more example. Supposing the two resistors, or perhaps we even have three resistors, which are different from one another. The method of calculation is exactly the same. One over R, the total, is equal to 1 over the value of each of the individual resistors. So the total of the resistance, 1 over our total, is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 in this example. Now I'm going to do this in terms of fractions, in terms of twelfths. 1 sixth is 2 twelfths and a quarter is 3 twelfths. And adding all those together is 6 twelfths. Now inverting them both, gives the total resistance 12 over 6, 2 ohms. I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching.